Trade Confident family. How is everyone doing? My name is Jake with Trade Confident, and I'm here to bring you your daily crypto insight. Thanks for joining me today. The CPI data came in a lot hotter than expected. This caused a general market crash. It's not just crypto in the red today. And because of this, we are expecting even further moves down. I'm going to talk to you about the exact signals we're watching to catch the bottom, my targets, and our plan to maximize our profit for this next move, especially as we move into the halving event. Let's dive into it. Heading over to the Trade Confident homepage here. As of today, we're 169 wins, zero losses in our membership trades. We have four new trade setups for you to take a look at, a brand new future forecast video for you to watch, and of course, 20 coins worth of metrics on our website. Major update here, we're adding 20 new coins to our trade call watch list. And keep in mind, membership price increases are coming April 20th, 2024. So if you want to sign up, links are in the description down below. Getting started in the analysis, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin metrics first. Bitcoin emotional index is looking neutral. Most often this will constitute a continuation because we are dropping it's very likely we're going to continue dropping until the metric itself hits anxious territory once we jump into anxious this is where we see moves back up in price easy as that next up i want to talk to you about the bitcoin whale smart money metric we are beginning to move back into long trade sentiment not quite there yet, but as soon as we see any sort of bullish sentiment on this metric, we can likely expect moves back to the upside. Just a little bit more of a continuation from this metric. With that in mind, I want to take you down to the whale money flow relative to price chart, and this shows whales are actually buying at least in the short term today. This tells us we could see a little bit of a tick up, but honestly, overall, we are still respecting this downtrend in the market. Because of that, I think overall whales are bullish, at least in the short term, and I think we could see drops once again to our next structure support before seeing any real buy movement happen. This is optimistic, but only in the short term. I think overall the market is going to drop. Last but not least is going to be the Bitcoin trade signals chart. As the price drops, we're going to be looking for a buy signal to call the bottom in anticipation of the next move up. Every single buy signal that posts calls moves up. So if one posts, I'm going to be very optimistic. If you trade Bitcoin, you need to pay very close attention to the Bitcoin metrics updated every weekday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Members get access to the Bitcoin metrics along with metrics across all 20 coins, along with the trade setups and the new future forecast video that was just posted. If you want to join us, time is running out on our discounted price. Links are in the description down below. Go ahead and scroll down, click more. The membership is the second link. Click that and it's going to bring you to our membership page. Full access for $59 a month right now, but that is ending soon. Price increases up to $65 a month are coming April 20th. The membership is going to include everything I just showed you and more. Go and click subscribe now, follow the prompts, and we're so excited to trade with you soon. Starting with the news, the stock market today, indexes fall, yields rise after March inflation tops forecasts. As we scroll down here, you're going to see the consumer price index rose 0.4% in March and 3.5% on an annual basis. Economists had expected a 0.3% and a 3.4%. Core CPI, which removes the volatile food and energy categories, was up 0.4% from February, topping an expected 0.3%. This is all a major increase in what was expected. This is the main reason we saw significant drops in price from Bitcoin. But I want to point out, this is very important. Just in CPI data released for March, expected versus real, whereas Bitcoin inflation will be cut in half next week as expected. Now, I want to correct that a little bit. It's probably going to be a little bit more than just next week. We have eight days, 20 hours, 59 minutes and 40 ish seconds left with the estimated having event being April 19th, 2024. Either way, it's coming up quick and Bitcoin by design is deflationary. Because of that, simply put, long-term Bitcoin is highly, highly bullish. And by long-term, I'm talking years and years out. Now, one last thing I wanna cover before we get into the specific Bitcoin analysis is the inverse relationship between the DXY, the US dollar index and Bitcoin itself. These two assets have what's called an inverse relationship. 
when the US dollar index drops, Bitcoin actually rises in price. When the US dollar index rises, Bitcoin drops in price. It really is as easy as that. You're gonna notice very consistently when one tops out, the other bottoms out. Right here, US dollar peaks, Bitcoin drops. US dollar drops, Bitcoin peaks. US dollar peaks, Bitcoin drops. It's very consistent, although not 100%. This is the only time in recent charts that we've seen both of them drop. But today, the US dollar index spiked, causing the price of Bitcoin to fall. Now, there's a very simple reason for this. At least here in the United States, you trade Bitcoin against the United States dollar. So when the dollar rises in price, it takes less dollars to cover the price of Bitcoin itself. It's really as simple as that. And keeping that in mind, we're going to dive into the technical analysis of Bitcoin. Right now, we are actively testing and actually tried to break structure support at $68,900 earlier today as soon as that cpi data was released we saw a sharp drop in price we saw a lot of liquidity at this point that bought up this dip very smart on those traders parts to buy the dip but unfortunately for them i do think we could still see continued moves down and that's because as we see here there is a major resistance on the price versus well money flow where well money goes the price is likely to go too so even if whales are buying this dip it's very likely they're going to reject this resistance again and continue moving money out of the market. And where well money goes, the price is likely to go too. Now, as the price drops, I think we're going to first meet structure support here on the ascending support of this symmetrical triangle pattern. This has been respected for quite some time. And once we reach that point, we'll have to reevaluate. But right now we have a 60% chance of a drop from the trades in favor. Price versus well money flow is trending downwards and overall this is bearish. In order to call the absolute bottom, what I wanna see is whale money oversold. This means whales are likely to buy back into the market and again, where whale money goes, the price is likely to go too. Next, I wanna see trades in favor in the long trade zone, ideally below a 75, or actually technically above a 75% chance of a pump. This will turn green, it'll show bullish, You'll know exactly what that looks like when it happens. And if we see price versus well money flow low, trades in favor low, and especially if we see a buy signal just as we did right here, most often this will result in moves up. Now, the only question is, is this trifecta going to post on structure support here for the ascending support? Or are we going to crash through this and break all the way down to $62,250? That would be a pretty dramatic drop, but it is not unlike the whales at all to crash the market in order to buy and lower before a major bullish event like the halving event happens. This is why I think it is possible we could see drops, but we need to be careful. Over the next couple of days, we're going to test structure support here, and this is where we're going to need to reevaluate where the indicators are at before making our next move. As this plays out, everyone needs to be paying attention to these indicators. They've helped us earn 169 wins, zero losses in our membership trades. Simple as that, guys, these indicators, along with rigorous risk management, has helped us earn the highest win rate on YouTube. And I'm not saying that to brag, it's just the facts, guys this is how we're doing so well in our trades. As this plays out, if you wanna use these indicators, I can help you get them for up to $550 off. Check this out. Once again, links are in the description. Go ahead and scroll down, click more. Indicators are the very first link. Click that and it'll bring you to our Pro Indicator page. Pro Indicator Pack is what you're looking for. It's much cheaper to purchase with a membership than it is without one. So for your first $150 off, sign up for our membership, access the coupon code at this link, click Pro Indicator Pack, go ahead and scroll down and click I want this, throw in that membership code and fill in your information. Click pay and it'll offer you the TC top and bottom finder for $400 off, giving you a full $550 discount. Go ahead and click add to cart, follow the prompts, and we're so excited to trade with you soon. And with that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Remember, trade safe, trade confident, and I will see you in that future forecast video on our membership. Don't miss out.